What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 50 minute legs boot camp workout. So grab your dumbbells and your sliders and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here for our legs workout today. As you can see, I've got some things around me that are as always optional. The only thing you're gonna need today is dumbbells and your water and your sweat towel. But I do have my box out here today for an optional step up. Okay, and then in that same superset, I'm also gonna challenge you to do a single leg squat. Okay, so if you have something you can step up onto like a chair or a bed or a couch, that'll be perfect for the same exact circuit, single leg squats, okay? Modifications will be up here as always, so make sure if you need to dial it back, you need to take some hop out of it, you need to put both feet on the floor, you use the modification, okay? So, dumbbells, lightest weight today, I'm gonna be using our curtsy lunges or reverse lunges, so probably around my 15 to 20 pound dumbbells all the way up to, I'm gonna try and attempt my 50, 60, 70 range for the goblet squats in the beginning. So that'll be your heaviest weight. Think what you would do for goblet squats, lightest weight, curtsy lunges, forward lunges, okay? So let's jump into the warm up, push yourself. Let's go here in three, two, one, come on. Make sure your hips stay open. Good, now get your arms involved. Opposite arm. Great work. The only expectation today, show up, you've done that. All we have to do is work hard together. We finish together as a team. Okay, neck. Legs are nice and wide. Next up, reverse and forward with your hips. Good, we'll get a little inner thigh stretch here, as well as a little hamstring. This is a quad dominant workout, however, Anytime we're doing things with the legs, you're gonna use your hamstrings and your glutes as well. So I wanna make sure they are nice and warm. One more. And then take your hands down to the floor and let's bend left leg and right leg. One leg stays straight. Shift your hips back as you bend that leg. Great job. Three. Two, and look over towards your left foot. I want you to walk over there, turn your left toe and your right toe over towards the left, and let's bend that back leg down to the floor. A nice deep hip stretch. And push your foot into the mat out front, lift your hips up, and back down. And up. Straight legs. Got a nice long warm up and cool down here today. And good, lift it up into the air, stretch that hamstring for five, four, three, two, and walk it over to your right toe. We're changing directions of your toes. <laughs> so right toe and left toe point to the right side, dip the hip down. And exhale, push it up. Great job, down, open up your chest, and up, and back down, last one, and great job, lift your hips up, stay right here, both feet go out back, nice and wide, okay, heels are to the floor, I just want you to pedal them down, stretching out your posterior chain, and the calves, and the hamstrings, and the glutes, Good, hips down to the floor, open up your chest. Turn your shoulders left and right. Great job, bring yourself back to plank position. Bend your legs as you walk back into a deep squat. Okay, open your knees out to the side. Good job, take all the time you need to get there and just make sure the stretch is good for you. We're often really tight in the hips and the inner thighs, so I like to really focus on those areas. Let's go just body weight squats. Good, get into the practice of sitting back and down. Three, two, and one. All right, arms, big circles backwards. We're gonna start with 
goblet squats and a squat hold. If you have a place on your wall to do a wall sit, that'll be exercise two. All right, goblet squats you can hold right here at your chest. And we'll go in 13 seconds. All right, modification is there. If you need a lower hold, we go in three, two, one, 30 seconds right here. Good job. 14, 13. Three, two, one. Great job. And you've got either a wall sit or a squat hold right here. Okay, if you want to hold a dumbbell, feel free. All right. Let's go in four, two, one, sit it down. Now the seated position, I want you to make sure hips and chest are not level, okay? So this, not a squat hold. Chest above the hips, widen your feet if you need to and just sit down. Good, 15 more seconds, lift the heels up. Good job, keep it here. Five, four, two, one. All right, round two, same thing. Goblet squats and squat holds. You ready? Three, two, and let's go. Keep your back strong. Make sure you don't round at the bottom. 13. Five. Two, one, rest, good. Okay, back to your squat hold. 15 seconds to sit. Lift the heels for 15. You're doing great. Here we go. Two, one. Great job. Hands at your chest to help you keep it up. Or up here, whatever helps you keep your chest from doing this. Three, two, lift your heels. Stay here with your hips. Try to avoid also letting your ankles do this on that heel lifted hold. Keep them lined up. Five, three, two, one. All right, one more time through. Shake it out. Big deep breath. We go in eight seconds. Can you go up? Can you challenge yourself more? Two dumbbells, one heavier. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen, good job. Seven. Three, two, one, and rest. One last squat hold. Wide stance, heels turned out if you need to. We go up in five, or down in five. Three, let's go. Sit it low. There you go, five seconds in. Let's go ahead and pull the heels up here. <laughs> A little sooner than last round, but let's go for it, right? We're at the beginning of the workout. Control your core, push into the floor with your toes. Great work, you've got seven. A little deeper, five, four, two, one, amazing job. Grab some water, nice work. Circuit one, done. We move on to squat jumps with a dumbbell or without, modification will be here. And then walking lunges.
All right, so squat jumps with the dumbbell, optional to jump. You can either take the impact out or take the weight out. Okay, so one arm at a time. You're gonna sit, other arm is here, pop. Sit, pop. What I don't want is this, okay? Shoulders are level, hips are down. And if you don't wanna go all the way to the floor, you can go right here. Okay, I'm gonna start with a 20. We go in two, one, come on. 30 seconds right here. Good, last 10. Three, two, one, good. Walking lunges, I started off hot. Whew, I'm feeling it already. Walking lunges, I'm gonna use my 220s. Feel free to stand in place. All right, let's go, two, one, Great work, fight through this one. 13. Three, two, one, rest, good. All right. We're starting off strong. Squat hops with a dumbbell or without, or single arm dumbbell lift, squat without the jump. Ready? Let's go. Just adding a little resistance to your jump. 15. Seven. Two. One, rest, good. Okay, back to walking lunges. You should be pushing hard right now. It's early in the workout. Go hard, don't pace yourself. Okay, if we need to slow down later, we can. But right here, let's go. Right here, while we still have the most energy of the whole day, I want you to work hard. Eight, seven. Two, one, good job. One last round. Whew. And then we move on to circuit number three, but first we rest after this round. Three, two, let's go. Good job, 10, nine. Sit, 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 seven. I know you wanna sit up right here. Drop your glutes, four, two, one, rest. Yes, great job. Last round of walking lunges. Very proud of you, stay with me here. We breathe after this. Ready, three, let's go. Power out of the front leg, right up on top of it. Then sit again. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful work. You've got a minute rest. I know this 50 minute is a long one. We've got rest in between your powerful circuits. 
There you go. There's that big deep breath you needed, right? Okay, we've got a burner circuit up next as if it hasn't already been burning, but reverse lunges, alternating full range of motion. So with the dumbbell or dumbbells, we're going here. Okay, second exercise, no weight or weight is optional. Same thing, just on a slider, okay? So you're here, back up. Okay, this leg that's not moving, leave the heel on the floor, okay? If my whole foot is on the floor and I go to slide, I'm doing the splits. We don't wanna do the splits today. Keep the heel in front on the ground. Then when it's time for you to take that slider back, then you lift it and push it back and you anchor this heel to the floor, stand up on top of it, okay? 15 seconds, we go together, alternating, reverse lunges with the dumbbell first, in seven. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice job, think of your hips sitting right back behind your heel, and then as you stand up, this will help you in your sliders too. Heels and hips lined up. Don't let your chest fall, keep the back strong. Four, Two, one, great work. All right, towel off, slider lunges. And if you wanna take it just one leg at a time, that's also fine. Right here like this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and we're off. Good, use your arms. Ten. Three, two, one. Great job. Reverse lunges, round two. You're doing great. Stay with me. The hold on your lunges can be down here, relaxed for your arms. You wanna add a little more core control. Front racket, okay? Two, one, let's go. This also kind of gives your arms a holding break. <laughs> or if you can just manage to kind of hook your dumbbells here. Just keep continuing to think of the hips, the ribs, that relationship with your pushing leg. Upper two, stay stacked. Nine. Two, one, great job. Dumbbells out of the way. You can probably guess what's coming. <laughs> Just the right leg stays. Left leg goes back and up. Here and up. Okay. Dumbbell if you would like. Let's go. Think about just your front leg. You stay stacked right here. Do not shift back into your slider foot. Seven, four, three, two, one, rest. Whoop. Great job. Last round, reverse lunges. Stack them, hold them low, hold one. Doesn't matter as long as you're getting resistance that challenges you. I'm with you. Three, two, let's go. Alternating again on this one. Last round of reverse lunges. Keep moving. Keep telling yourself, every single rep, remember yesterday we talked about being present? Every rep is for my benefit. Nine. Two, one, good work. And we're back, left leg stays, right leg slides. Yes, you're gonna have a leg that you feel a bit more confident in. That's okay. Don't call it out as the weak leg. 
call it out as the leg you are working harder on. Let's go. Keep your hips steady. Good work, come on, 15. Step it up, four, three, two, one, and rest. You've got a minute rest. Amazing work. We're going over to your box, couch, bed, table, bench, step ups, and single leg squats. All right, one minute to breathe. So step ups, you can have the same thing with your lunges, two dumbbells, one dumbbell, two up here. We're alternating. Left leg up and then down. Switch, right leg up. Do not bring it here. Help yourself and then stand up. Okay, I want you to come all the way up on this foot, then leg number two. Okay? 15 seconds and we go together. I'm gonna stick with my 20s for round number one. Ready? Four, two, one, let's rock. Push, back down. A good way to make sure you don't use both legs like this is to just bring that foot up and tap. Take it back off. Make sure you finish the rep though. 10. Two, one, great job. All right, single leg squat. You can do this on the box with or without a dumbbell. Say one leg is here, touching or floating. Now sit, tap, push, and switch. Okay, ready? Let's go. And if you need to sit down completely, stand up. Do that for a while until you get strong enough to just Tap and push. Hips go back and forward. Back, forward. Think of all the time. Hips, forward. Three, finish the last one, and rest. Back to your step ups. If you can go up, let's push ourselves together. I'm feeling it too, guys. We are working so hard right now. Let's keep it up. Two, one, come on. Keep the weight that you're pushing around the pushing leg. So make sure you're not stepping up with your dumbbells here and you swing them here. Therefore your hips have to go back, okay? Three, two, one, rest. Great job. All right, single leg squats again, just the right leg. Okay, add a hop if you can, just one leg. Let's go. Five, three, two, one. Whew. Last round, step ups. Come on, push yourself. I'm with you. Go to where you feel strong, where you feel empowered. Go for what hits your goals. Let's go. And if it helps you, stomp on that box. Stomp on what you're standing on. Power up. There you go. Come on. Push. Seven. Two. 
One, great job, left leg, single leg squat. Then we rest, okay? Five seconds, four, three, two, let's go. Push off your toe if you're jumping. So make sure you're not doing a little flat foot jump. Okay, full extension off the toe. Soft landing, that gets your quad maximized. Seven. Three, two, one, and rest. Grab some water, breathe. You've got a minute to rest. I think, or maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but probably not. We need this minute. Big deep breath. And we're gonna slow it back down a little bit. Going into lateral lunges, okay? So, one dumbbell here. Taking it left and right, okay? How do I sit in a lateral lunge? Step out, hip immediately goes back, just like a squat, okay? Sit, if you're not wide enough, say you only step out to here, you're gonna try and sit, and there will be no room, and you will think I can't do lateral lunges. You can, take it a bit further out, here. Then practice, reaching forward, sitting back. Hips up, okay? Let's go in eight seconds. I'm gonna hold my 30. We alternate left, then right. Let's go. Good work. And make sure, when you get to a certain point, a lot of people tend to just drop their chest to get lower. What you want is a low hip. Okay, so your chest height is kind of relevant to your hips. Three, two, one, good job. Curtsy lunges are next. All right, I'm gonna hold a 20 up overhead. Back and up. Ready, three, two, let's go. Good, restack ribs and hips. You go back, you're gonna sit back a little bit. Come up, restack. Relax your shoulders. You don't need to be pushing, just let it sit. 15. Belly button over the heel out front. Two, one, great work. Come on down. Laterals again. You're doing really good. I know I'm really out of breath. I'm hoping you're pushing yourself hard as well. That's why I'll never be ashamed to be totally out of breath with you. I want you to know we're in it together. Let's go. Seven, are you breathing? There you go. Three, two, one more, rest. Good job. Overhead or just right at your chest, curtsy. How you doing, really, how you doing? Mindset should be, I'm here, I'm rocking. I'm tired, but I'm strong. Three, two, one, and we're up, let's go. Hips stay facing forward. Okay, look at my ribs and my hips, stacked. Okay, make sure you don't open up here. Make sure you don't let your hips go back here. Stack them up. Five, three, two, rest. All right, one last round, lateral lunges. Four, 
two, one, let's go. Strong back, strong mind, okay? Don't fail here and say, ah, too much for me. Push harder. Six. Two, one. Great work. Overhead curtsies. Five. Two, one. Let's go. Keep your form. Don't increase speed if you can't keep the form through that speed. Nine. Four. And rest. Great job. Grab some water. You're doing amazing. Take your minute here. Use the minute. We should need the minute. If you're going just a bit lighter in weight, maybe you jog in place. If you're not super, super exhausted, you're going more for endurance, that's okay. All right, up next, we have a squat walk and a lunge triangle. Okay, so squat walk, just like it sounds. You're gonna put a dumbbell either on your back or on your chest, right here, or resistance band, sit, stand. Okay, lunge triangle is gonna go one leg at a time, okay? Keep the right leg here, you make a triangle with your left. So you go forward, lateral, and back, and then back forward, lateral, reverse. Okay? I feel you, you're doing fantastic, seriously. All right, so squat walk, either a dumbbell on your back, or band, or dumbbell at your chest. Five, three, two, one, let's go, come on. Fifteen. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job. <sighs> Dumbbells are so sweaty. <laughs> All right. Lunge triangle. Just moving the left leg. Okay. Hold a light dumbbell if you would like. I'm going to grab my 15. Hold it in the right hand. Let's go. And you're sitting in the left leg every time, except for when you go to the back. So sit left, bend the left, and then sit out front. Push through. Good. Stop here if you need to. If you can, load it back. Load it forward. Seven. Two, one. Great job. Squat walk. Are you ready? Four, three, two, let's go. Ten. Come on, stay with me, stay present. Remember, one rep is really good. And then you go to the next one. Two, one, great job. All right, and we're back. Lunge triangle, you keep your left leg here now. Right leg forward, side back. 
Ready? Let's get it. And you want to make sure you keep your stationary leg stacked on the front and reverse lunges. So don't let it go here. Here. Four, two, one. Whew. Let's go back to squat walks. We're back again. Three, two, let's go. Come on, you're here to work hard. I know everything in you right now is saying, slow down, this is hard, this is tough. I know, but I know you're strong. I know to get stronger, we have to challenge ourselves in ways that we already haven't. 10. Three, two, and rest. <sighs> Back to keeping the right leg here, moving the left. Yes, you have two rounds per leg here. Ready? Left leg moves. Let's go. Good, 15. Other arm can be here, helping you balance. Hips, shoulders, level. Three, two, amazing work. Last round on the squat walk. Let's do it. If you can go up, I challenge you to do that. Three, two, let's go. You're doing fantastic, come on. 15. Seven. Four, two, one, rest. Great job. Last round, left leg stays, right leg triangle lunges. And then, a nice long rest, much deserved. Ready? Let's go. Fifteen. Come on, come on. Two, one, okay. Breathe for a minute. You've got one minute rest. We've got two more circuits. That's how close we are. Two more circuits, two exercises, and we've made it. Okay, I know right now your mind is saying, oh man, there's a lot of doubt, there's a lot of exhausted mindset of saying, I don't know if you can, I don't know if we should. You can, we will. Okay, you've got 30 more seconds here. And we're going up next for a bear crawl right here. Okay, keeping it low. If you need a modification for that, I want you to take it just in a quadruped position. Go up and down, okay? We'll go there in 15 seconds. Ready? Come on down, let's go, let's go. Four, three, two, Legs up and pull the abs in. Left leg, right arm. Right arm, left leg. Keep your hips down. There's a bowl of hot soup on your back right now. If you lift it up, the soup spills down your back and you're too hot for that. Okay? 10 more seconds. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Five, three, 
two, one, rest. Lay down on your left hip, okay? Put your right leg here, bridging up right here, okay? Nice flat arch. This foot, you're just lifting the arch. You need a modification, it's up there. Go down to your elbow, let's go. Good, and if you can, just hold it. If you need to tap down, that's okay. Anyone else's quad vibrating right now? <laughs> Me too, 15 seconds, come on, come on. Good, nine. Three, two, one. Good, back to the other side now. Flip right into it. Ready? Bridging here, lifting the right. Four, two, let's go. Come on, close your eyes if you need to. Breathe. Working on your adductors here, so the inner thigh muscle, strengthening it, okay? Not to be confused with spot reduction of how do I get rid of my inner thigh jiggle. It's strengthening the muscle here. Eight, seven. Two, one, flip it over. We're back into bear crawls. Ready? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'm gonna answer for you for the rest of the workout. Are you doing okay? Yes, I'm glad. Glad you're here with me. Let's go. And I'm not mocking you, by the way. Just trying to make you smile at the end of a really hard workout. I'm struggling too. Sometimes it helps to just say things that I don't even know where they come from, but just keep your mind positive. Thankful for your abilities. Thankful for your strength. As hard as it is sometimes to earn that strength, it's always a benefit to us. Three, two, one. All right, left hip. Come on down. Ready? Let the sweat fall. Remember, you've earned it. Two, one, let's go. Good. Go one, two. One, two. Heel is lifting. Good job. Stay here for 15. Try not to sink into your shoulder like this. If it's near your ear, push away. Seven, six, five, four. Lift that heel. Three, two, one. Flip. Good job. Ready? Bridge with the left. Lift the right. Two, one. Use the core as well. Good. Nine. Four, three, two, one. Flip right over, bear crawl, and go, 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 go. Keep the hips down, core is in. Ribs and hips are rotating towards each other. Good job, you've got 10. Can you give me nine more steps? Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one more step, rest. Left hip, let's go. Last round. Come on, you're right there. We finish it out with a little burnout. An exercise that I think a lot of you like, actually. Unlike bear crawls. Like, I don't think bear crawls fall into a lot of people's like category. Let's go. They're tough, right? Tough for the whole body. It's kind of like a stationary burpee. It's just all of the body working. But it's one of those things, maybe you're not great at them now, you will be. Okay, as your core gets stronger, as your arms get stronger, your quads, this is also the end of a workout, so that makes it tougher. 
You've got three, two, one. Switch it over. Last little inner thigh lift here. Seven. Three, two, come on, bridge and lift. Let's go. Fifteen. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Ten, nine. Can you hold it right here in the middle? Six, five, heel drives up, four, three, and rest. Great job. We're gonna go heel lifted squat and squat hold, okay? Grab some water. I'm gonna grab my five pound dumbbells. You can also grab a weight plate if you have those, okay? Or your dumbbell edges also will work, more specifically on like a bigger dumbbell, okay? So if you have the rolling dumbbells, I would suggest trying to get here, okay? All right, so heel lifted squat into heel lifted squat, hold. Okay, we go here, push into your toes. All the way down, all the way up. In 10 seconds we go. That's a 30 second non-stop squat. If you wanna hold a dumbbell, feel free. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. And with this heel lifted, some people will be able to go a bit lower because there's less ankle dorsiflexion, okay? Less requirement for ankle mobility. So some people can go a lot lower and it's not necessarily unsafe. As long as you can control it, if you feel good about your form, that's where we go together. Eight, seven, and in six seconds, you're just gonna sit it down halfway and hold. Three, two, one. We're right here. Isometric work. We did this in the very beginning and we're gonna close it out with the same thing, okay? Let's check in on your posture. If hips and ribs are level, this is a hinge hold, okay? This is a squat hold. 14 seconds and you resume those squats. So if you wanna add a dumbbell, we're gonna go again, full range of motion in seven. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Ten seconds and you hold. Four, three, two, sit and hold. You've got this one, this will close out round two. And just like you're probably guessing, there's one more round of each, non-stop, and that's it. 15 seconds. You're doing fantastic. Come on, mentally convince yourself here. You're not gonna stop. Five seconds, we go full range. Three, two, come on. Push out of those toes. Fifteen. Nine, five, three, two, one, sit, hold for 30. This is it, right here. This is all, come on. As much as you wanna shoot that hip up and rest, don't, don't do it yet. 15, a little bit lower, come on. 13, 12. Come on, add a punch if you need to. Get that aggression out of the leg burn. Go, go, go. Five, sit your butt down. Four, three, two, one. You've made it to your cool down. 
Amazing, amazing job. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. <sighs> so proud of us. Come down to your hands and knees. Grab water if you need it, but don't leave the cool down yet. I promise you are going to want this cool down to come back tomorrow or especially two days from now. Drop your hips down. Feeling not so sore, all right? Sometimes when you make your muscles push hard past what you're used to, you'll experience some DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. Recovery, stretching, moving is a big aid in speeding up your recovery. Tuck your chin down, pull your abs in to lift your hips up and reach back. Good job. Now over the next couple days, I want you to promise me that you're not gonna find yourself sitting for more than two hours at a time. I know a lot of us have desk jobs. I know, set an alarm. Every hour you get up, you stretch in all three planes of motion and you walk for five minutes. Come back up onto your hands and knees, right leg up top. Shift your hip forward and if you can, look back, bend. Breathe, good. Like we always say, let that sweat fall, you have earned it. Release your foot, easy, 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 and switch legs, same thing. Left leg up top, shift it forward, stretch your hips, look back. And you shouldn't need to pull too much. Good work. Sink it down, pull. And as the clock rolled out to zero a second ago, let's come on up straight legs. Stretch your inner thighs. We did some work there. Those adductors. Promise me also your nutrition's gonna be great to support this workout. This was one incredible workout. I don't want you to go forward and not fuel your body for energy later and recovery immediately. Something you may not know, the recovery and the strength and the muscle growth or the endurance that you want starts the minute the workout is over, okay? Come on up. And how can you make sure that you maximize that growth? Those results, eat enough. Walk, don't just sit for a long time. Your body is designed to move, okay? If you sit it in a, a stagnant position for a long time, you're gonna feel that when you get up, right? How many of you have got up from a couple hours of sitting and you go, oh! Your body needs to move, okay? Talk yourself through it. Sometimes it takes just doing it for a couple days to feel the energy and the mental kind of cognitive improvements that you get from just standing up and breathing, stretching. My three favorite multiplanar stretches, side to side, front to back, rotate left to right. If you can include those in your day every hour for maybe three minutes, improvement in your mobility and the way that you think, okay? Be proud of yourself today, be proud of yourself tomorrow, be present. Don't forget what you just accomplished. Before you move on to the next thing, pause, be proud. This was hard, you did this. So don't rush off and think, okay, another thing checked off the box, I gotta run. Just hold on a second and think, I did this. Be proud, I deserve this. I deserve this time and this prioritization of my mental and physical health. Now you can move forward and maximize the next thing that you do because you're prepared and because you're taking care of yourself. Okay, if you're taking care of everyone else, who's taking care of you, right? You have to. Keep thinking about your heart, your mind, your physical well-being, your mental health, your hydration, your sleep. Prioritize yourself so that you can take care of all the things in your life, okay? I love you, and I'll be back here tomorrow taking care of your physical health as long as you show up. I will be here, and make sure before you head out, you've given the video a thumbs up if you crushed it and you've subscribed to the channel. And also, make sure you click that bell notification. I can alert you when your next workout is up and ready. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone.